Hello my pen friends, welcome to the channel. Today we are doing my currently inked for August, even though it's coming out at the beginning of September. Happy September! <laughs> Hello my pen friends, welcome to the channel. Today we are doing my currently inked. This was supposed to come out last week, but somehow when editing, I lost all of my audio. So I've had to redo it and that means I'm a week behind. So this is currently inked for August, even though it's coming out at the beginning of September. Happy September! <laughs> So I am going to share with you my currently inked. Some of these are now out of ink, but this is the collection I had inked for the summer, July and August. The first pen I had inked was my Lamy Aluminum Safari, and I have that inked up with Diamond Pink Ice. This was a really fun pairing. The Lamy is a beautiful, smooth writer. It's a very inexpensive pen but it is lovely. I always enjoy writing with it. The only complaint I have about the Lamy is sometimes I gather my thoughts so while I'm writing I have to stop and think for a moment and it dries on the nib really quickly or if it's capped it doesn't have a super tight seal so when I first uncap it sometimes it's slow to start but it is a beautiful smooth writer and I have it inked fairly often because it is just such a pleasure to write with. This is in a fine nib and the ink is this lovely pale pink with a darker pink shading to it and it has this beautiful silver shimmer. Next, I have my first Moon Man. I really enjoy the nib on this brand as well. It is beautiful. So this is a Moon Man C1 in a medium nib. It is an eyedropper fill, which means that the ink goes directly into the body with an eyedropper as opposed to other filling mechanisms that I can show you as we're going through. I got this one because the grip section I loved the idea of a clear acrylic body, but the, the grip section has red, like a deep red, a mahogany, a purple, a maroon, blue, some silver. It's even got a little bit of orange in parts. It is just so many colors. It's like every color I could think of that I would want to use. I'm not so big into yellows, but I love those cooler colors, blues and purples. And I have it currently inked up with the Pilot Oroshi Zuku in Yamabudo. It is this lovely fuchsia, almost a plum color, and it is so velvety smooth. It is a lovely wet ink that in this pen is fantastic. I think I, I've inked it up with quite a considerable amount of ink, um, and I've used this, I think it's been inked for about two months already, and it is lovely. It is such a joy to write with. Then I have my Twisby Diamond 580. This is the white in rose gold, and I have it inked up with Dye Mine Writer's Blood. This is another pairing I have had for quite a while. You can see there's a considerable amount of ink still in the body. Um, it is lovely. When I first got this Twisby, it was very dry and I couldn't understand why it was so scratchy. So I tried it with several different inks and I was having the same problem. Um, and then I inked it with this and it is a very wet ink as well. And it seemed to have fixed the problem. Then I discovered that if you screw, like if you use the piston to fill the body with ink and then screw it tight, you end up forming this vacuum seal and air can't get through. But if you twist it just a little bit enough to break that seal, the pressure will be released and the ink flow is then glorious. So I've had no troubles with this pen since learning that little trick of just unscrewing the back ever so slightly. This is in a fine nib and it is an okay writer. It's not a super smooth writer. It does have some feedback. Nowhere near as much as my Sailor, but it does have some feedback. But it's quite lovely. I enjoy the writing experience and I enjoy this pairing with this ink. It is a 
deep wine red with a slight sheen to it. Then I have my very first Caveco. This is a Caveco AL Sport in a fine nib. I love the Cavecos. I, I will constantly, this is my workhorse pen. My Cavecos are my workhorse. I always have at least two Cavecos, usually three inked at all times. It is my go-to pen and it is, and it is always such a joy to write with. It is currently inked with Jacques Urban Amethyst de Olour, and that is a lovely rich purple with a silver shimmer. Next, I have another Caveco. This is my, this is the gold spot exclusive purple. I think it's like called Periwinkle or something like that, but it is their exclusive color. Um, it is in a broad nib and oh my gosh, this is such a wet, juicy writer. I don't know if it's the pairing with the ink, but it is a very wet writing experience. It has so much ink gets down on the page. It's glorious. And the ink is a deep, deep purple with a slight sheen. It's a very lovely, rich ink. I use it as a work ink. Up next is one of my newer acquisitions. This is the Twisby Diamond 580 Mini in Grape. It is a lovely pen. It is super cute. I love all the bright purple pops of color. It is so lovely. And it's such a smooth writer. My other Twisby Diamond 580 in rose gold, it has some feedback. This one doesn't at all. It is so deliciously smooth. It is so lovely to write with. It is so adorable. It's just, this is a beautiful pen. I really, really like it. It is currently inked with Ferris Wheel Press Blushing Mushroom. I got this ink sample from my ink swap with Swimstigel. She is a lovely, lovely human. We met up on TikTok and just became fast pen friends. This is another one that is a very recent acquisition. This is the Atlas exclusive Banu called Gold Coast. It is a lovely fine shimmer in the dark blue. Then the pale blue in the middle has sort of an iridescence to it. And then it's got a gold glitter in the bottom or a gold shimmer acrylic in the bottom. And then there are these lovely chunks of iridescence and purple and gold glitter that almost look like um, bits of seashell. It, it's called Golden Coast. It just reminds me of the ocean. We've been living on the ocean for the last 10 years and here in California. And man, I had to get this ink. And it is paired with a Ferris Wheel Press Glistening Glass, this lovely pale blue color, and it has a gold shimmer to it. It is divine. It is a lovely, smooth, buttery writing experience, and it just looks divine. I like this color. It's almost a blue-gray color um, base, but then when the light hits it, all of the letters, all of my writing just sort of lights up. It's fantastic. Then I have my Le Bon Celebration in Oyster Shell Blue in a medium nib, and this is inked with Diamond Arctic Blast. This is one of their Inkvent limited edition inks. I got their 2022 Inkvent calendar in like April and sampled all of the inks. If you want to see all of the samples, you can check it out on TikTok. They're slowly coming to this channel, but they're over on TikTok linked in the description box below. If you want to see all of my pens and all of my inks, they're unboxed there. All of my Lamy's are smooth writers. They are beautiful pens, very classic in their style but also very, very lovely. I'm a huge fan of Le Bon. And this ink is a lovely deep blue with a red sheen, meaning when it dries, there's like this hot pink electric red kind of sheen to it and a slight silver shimmer. Next up is my Estabrook Esty in blue. This one is a surprise to me. When I first got this, I enjoyed it out of the package. It was a very scratchy nib. It was also a very dry writer. And I just, I didn't super enjoy reaching for it. Right out of the package, it was okay. It was, it was nice. It was beautiful, it was my overwhelming response to it. But the more I wrote with it, the drier it became. And it just didn't have a feel I enjoyed. With this ink, it is so deliciously smooth. 
it has almost like an oily feel to the texture of the ink. Like it just writes like silk. It's, it barely touches the page and the ink is just, is just pouring out and it is so smooth. It is so lovely. This pairing, I wasn't, I was going to unhaul this pen. I was seriously thinking of unhauling it and finding it a new home for someone who would enjoy that feedback. But after inking it with this Birmingham quantum teal, uh, this is my pen forever. I love it. I love this combination. I reach for it all the time with this ink. I've actually inked it up a second time because I loved it so, so much. I thought it was more of a blue color, but it seems to be more of a green, which I'm a little disappointed that it's not more blue because it's in a blue pen, but it, it writes so beautifully and this pairing feels so good. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care that it's not blue. It's fine. I'm going to use it anyway. This is Birmingham Pen Co. ink. It is called Quantum Teal. It is a lovely, to me, it's more of a green. It's a lovely green base with an absolutely glorious red sheen. I love this ink. Again, I got this as a sample from Simstigal and I've just ordered a whole bottle of it. It's so lovely. And last but certainly not least, this is my Caveco AL Sport in a medium nib. This one is the rose gold body and it is inked with Ferris Wheel Press Adventurine. The reason I love this pairing is this is a rose gold pen with a steel nib and it is a steel gray ink with a rose gold shimmer. So it just seemed like this beautiful marriage between the two. Writing with it was a struggle at first because the gray is so pale that sometimes it's hard to read as I'm writing and then it darkens to a lovely gray once it dries. But while writing, it can be challenging to see where my pen strokes are. But I've come to absolutely love it. I've gotten accustomed to it after writing with it for a few weeks and it is, it is a great ink. I'm really, really happy with it especially for like highlights or when I'm taking notes for titles and things like that. It does have such a beautiful shimmer. So this has been my color palette for the summer. I do tend to try and find a combination of pens and inks that all complement each other. So the pens when they're sitting in my pen case all look good together. They look like they belong together. They kind of have um, either a blended transition or just all complement you know, this has a little blue in it, so it's standing next to the blue pen, or it has some gold in it, so I have a gold pen. Um, but I try and have my pens themselves match each other, or at least like go together in a color family. But then I also have the ink colors themselves also go together. I'm someone who doesn't just write with one pen. I like having like alternating colors when I'm doing notes or if I'm doing journaling, this is how work went, this is how life went, this is how family went, this is how my writing is going. Whatever it is I'm journaling, I like to have two different colors either for a header and the body of my message or whatever. I like having two complementary pens. And so having a color family like this, the Birmingham Quantum Teal would go great with any of the pinks and purples. They would go so lovely. There is this blushing mushroom would also go with any of the pinks. The pinks and purples would go great with any of these blues. Like any two pens I picked up, the two pens would look like they belong together as well as the inks I'm writing with look like they go together, like they complement each other. So that's kind of how I do my currently inks. I, I like my palette to look like they belong. I like the ink to match the pen. I like the pens to match each other. I like the pens to look good in my case, in my drawer in my hand. So I'm very aesthetic in that regard. I have my Lamy, my Moon Man, my Banu, my Estabrook, Le Bon, two Twisbees and three Cavecos for this month. And I love them all. All of them are just such beautiful writers. It's, I've had so much fun with these pens. I live here on the ocean and all of them just feel like home. They all feel like summer. They all feel like a trip to the beach. We have these beautiful sunsets that we can see from our living room window. And these colors have just felt like home for this summer. So this has been 
lovely. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've got currently inked, hearing a little bit about my thought process in how I choose these, and just coming with me on this journey. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed seeing what I have inked and hearing about it. If there is something you wish I would have told you, if you have questions, just drop it down. This is new content for me and for you as well on this channel. So please, by all means, drop it down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts and let's start a conversation. And moving forward, I would like to bring more of my currently inks to the channel because it is something that's stationary. It's ink and paper. I mean, it's literally ink on paper. <laughs> so it's, you know, kind of the foundation of this channel. Um, so by all means, drop in the comments below and let me know. If you want to see all of the pens and inks I have in my collection so far, you can check me out on TikTok at Book and Broom, linked in the description box below. If you want to be pen friends with me and other wonderful creative people, you can, you can hit the link in the description box below and head over to our Discord group and make new pen friends. If you haven't already, hit that big red button, join the family, we're a happy crew here. I will see you in the next one, my pen friends. Take care. Bye.